this finds you well. sesh of connecting with Adam. I am your host, Adam. 45. <clears throat> Happy hump day to you and to yours. It's a little bit of a bittersweet uh, connecting with Adam because we are going to be moving and so we're going to take off a little bit of time but we're gonna get right back into tune uh, a couple weeks. So this is our final one at this lovely abode. We don't know how it's going to look uh, afterwards, so absorb it all while you can. So we got the order your love grams, the doggy dogs, cementing with love, this gorgeousness, this piano. Really in love and really grateful for the piano. And um, don't know if we're going to be having it uh, afterwards, so it's kind of a beast. So we might be losing the piano, but uh, I always have faith in, uh, you know, what's next. Stay curious. Stay curious. Hey, do me a favor. Press that share button right there. Uh, shares he's curious is a great way to uh, connect with us and support us. So looks like we got some fine folks in the house. I think I got Mr. Jacob Smith. Good evening, sir. Hope you're doing well. Press that share button if you'd be so kind. Sam looking snazzy. We've got Skyward with the piano, love, claps, and the house. We've got tip jars, Venmo, and PayPal if you're so inclined. Appreciate that, Jamie, making that user friendly. And um, we love having you all with us so much this week. Sadly, we will be taking a two-week break from the show. Don't worry. We promise we'll be back. Like Adam Dapkus for updates. And if you haven't subscribed to YouTube, please do. Are you guys getting a keyboard? Gonna miss the heavy pianula. Yeah, me too. Um, and um, well, we might be getting a keyboard. We don't know. We don't know what the future holds for us. But um, we'll definitely be trying to bring the piano back. And maybe I could get a, another stand-up um, you know, piano uh, upright um, in the future um, you know, from somebody else down the line. So... Uh. Have no fear, the show will return and we will have some kind of piano mm -hmm. and some variants. We just can't make any promises because we just don't know. So, uh, hope this finds you well. This next tune here is Begin Again. How interesting, talking about something we might lose and uh, something we might gain. So, stay focused on what we have and, um, you know, I have faith that something will uh, uh, happen, whether it's the same thing or something different. So... Without further ado, I give you Begin Again. <clears throat> Begin. 
songs of love lost friends Some still here and others gone And I'm writing my own song Writing my song Was he in love to was I right well do I be again? Oh, this fire my right and I've slipped caught thrice so grateful for the lessons the loss and Again. Oh, again, oh, again, 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 oh, no. and I'm writing my own song. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was Begin Again. I actually wrote that on the ukulele. Uh, a little bit easier to jam it on the guitar. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tune in in the following weeks and months as the year progresses. And uh, we'll uh, be doing that with the ukulele as well. Again, this is Connecting with Adam. I am your co-host, Adam. It's going to be more Jamie's show. Kind of me at the beginning and then round it out with Jamie and Roe. Make sure we're including everybody here. Got sad face around the piano. I know, Sambo, you are not alone in that. You look super sharp in your Mavs colored beard. Thank go you. Mavs. Yeah, Mavs. Go, Luca. Maxi, and all of those guys. Um, yes, if you're a Mavericks fan, you know that they always play on Connecting with Adam. It's something about a bonding with me. <laughs> I find the spirit animal of Dirk. Um, doo -doo -doo. did you know that if you share this on your timeline, you'll get a sharer badge? It's true. Would you like a badge? We'll give you a badge. All you gotta do is press that share button. Have I? Uh, Skyward shares these characters. He's Proteus. <laughs> Skyward heard this wonderful song before, question mark. The tiger took I'm. Hmm. Uh, so they got chopped. It's have I heard this wonderful song before. Oh. Is one. And then okay. I believe it's. The tiger took immediate notice. He did. Sorry, these keep getting away from me, says Skyward. So uh, he chopped it, it up. It seems positive. <laughs> and um, just because showbiz live show, so we're going to move on. Uh, Begin Again has been around about a month now. One of my new favorites. Thank you. I really like it. I think it's much better on the guitar than the ukulele. Um, and once I get full vibrato back, uh, it'll be different again. So uh, thanks for connecting, Skyward, and tuning in, and... Um, thank you, Jamie, for deciphering. So, yes, now we're going to um, go to... We've added this guitar solo for uh, showbiz reasons. And so I um, hope you uh, enjoy it. If you're connecting with the show, if you're new to the show, if you're old to the show, whatever, um, leave a comment. Let us know you're there. It's a great way to connect and let me know that you're there and you want to tune in uh, later. So I uh, appreciate you all uh, sticking around to uh, enjoy the celebration of music and connection. Some of me, none of me, oh, oh. 
dreams until it seems uh, to me you wanted to be realizing it's me go a little by the by away from me see a little taste of Tweens. You and me, yeah. oh, oh, oh. all of me, some of me, none of me. So go a little by the by. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I like that song, it ends kind of like, is that the end or not? I like how uh, kind of the variety of the writing in the show. I hope you can appreciate that and recognize that as well. So that's it for me on the solo part of the songs. Um, but please stick around. We're going to have Robo. We're going to have Jamie describing and entertaining. Um, and I'll still be on with my pretty face and my beard and the guitar. So uh, quite the variety show. Doo -doo -doo. I try with Jamie. You're brilliant. Unfortunately, Lovegrams is also on hold for the next two weeks. Watch for updates when we fire up the creative furnace again. Um, it'll all be flowing the whole time. It's just as far as sharing it with y'all. And honestly, know that if you have a love gram and you want to reach out to us, we could always take it and accept it uh, and just know that we're juggling a big move and parenting and all of the things that go with everything, right? So appreciate you understanding, taking the time. It'll be nice. Distance makes the hog grow founder, so maybe we'll have a big old group of people uh, showing up for us uh, in May once we get our big old move in. And maybe we get a piano, maybe we have a keyboard, who knows what's flowing out of us. So uh, we also have a whole recording studio. We're going to be um, uh, maybe uh, putting an amplifier on the uh, vocals and on the um, guitar. So stick around, we're going to have so many, so many things um, coming up with us, so... Um, I realized I did not do my guitar solo. I skipped right past it uh, into in between. So should I do that now or not? Because they're right there. Or? Yeah, we can go ahead and Perfect. do the guitar solo. Go ahead and I apologize, it folks. Showbiz with a five-year-old. <clears throat> Thank you.
Sorry about that, Jamie. Ah, not used to doing a guitar solo. It's brand, brand new to me. Make sure we're including all you fine folks. Looks like we've got Michelle in the house and Peggy Buck Kirby. Good to see you fine folks or <laughs> see your comments there. Dapkinson Story Time will air on Dapkinson Homeschool page at 1 p.m. tomorrow. And we've also got also Poetry with Proteus will air uh, right after that at 145. Tomorrow's poems discuss rejection. I feel we all get that and feel that, so I think that's really uh, pertinent and something to tune into. I uh, hope you join me, me as in Proteus, uh, before Proteus takes a two-week break as well. So yeah, if you're just tuning in, we are moving. We're in the big of a big. Uh, we're in the middle of a big move, um, and this fine stuff, although we love it and it bleeds inside of us and out to you, we kind of have to do what's smart for us. Uh, and pack up and move. So um, I'm sure you've moved before. You know the big endeavor and the stress that could go along with it. Although we're pretty chill around it. But unfortunately we are going to have to take a hiatus of the show. Probably about two weeks. Definitely at least one. But like I said before, distance makes the heart grow fonder. So we'll be coming uh, back with a vengeance. Um, but as Jamie said, the uh, the furnace of creativity will be flowing. And we'll be eager to share it with you. So and we'll invite everybody, so no need for you to do anything. Um, although you could press that share button if you'd like to right now. Shares these carries is a great way to express your love and support for us. Michelle, we've got, I missed about the move, but good luck with that. Thank you for that. Hope you all are well and happy. Love the music. Thank you so much, Michelle. We always appreciate you tuning in and connecting with us. We are very grateful for you, so please continue to do so. And if you'd be so kind to press that share button as well, Michelle, I'd be forever grateful for you. And we could have all your fine folks on your page tune in with us as well as Jody and Peggy. We've got Jody and Peggy in the house as well. So press that share button. Great way to support us, like I said. Hi there. Hi there. Hey there. Ho there. Hello there. Indeed. Uh, Peggy, welcome to the show. Always good to have you. And Jody, hello there. How are you? Eh, what am I, I guess this, I didn't really show in this, the two, the two parts, like the, I like the separation, they're quite creative, and I don't know if you can see this, but we've got glitter, glitter in the beard, uh -huh. yes, hello there, oh. <laughs> uh, so yes, again, this is connecting with Adam, I'm one of the three hosts on the show, and this is the 45th sesh, picture of that 45th in a row super stoked about that a little bummed to have to put the show on hiatus but showbiz all right it looks like we've got robo here come on out buddy well hey cutie how are hi. you hi and what's your name again my name's Ro. oh hello okay. Ro. and how old are you i'm five five let's count it out one Two, three, four, five. Five. And Daddy likes to say, yellow number five. If Net. you know me from the past, then you know what I'm talking about. Hey, would you like to do the Robo Show entrance song? Uh-huh. Go for it. Um, what's the it's Ro Robo, Robo Show, Robo Show, where they talk the most? I don't know. Robo Show, Robo Show, where's the dinosaurs, music, and more? It's a Robo Show with the host, Robo Show. So it's the Robo, Robo Show, Robo Show, what are they talking about? I don't know. Robo Show, Robo Show, silly stories, music, and more. It's the Robo Show with your host, Robo. Enjoy Robo, and I'll be back. Uh, that's right. I'm gonna do the one. I'm well. Hey, silly. Hi. Um. So my name's Ro. Um. Ro. Um. My name's Ro. Grandma <laughs> Kate. Um. Um. We're gonna talk about muscles and bones and everything. <laughs> we we are. You're giving away all the goodies here. Sit back in your chair. Sit back in the chair. We'll scooch this down just a little bit. Get full view of the robo. Okay, go ahead and sit up. Yeah. All right, so since you already said it, are you ready for the question of the week? The, the question, question of, of the week. week. Yeah? Hey, yeah. Can you tell everybody what muscles are? So muscles help you do this. 
What is this? Is that moving your body? Yeah. Yeah? Can you show me what your muscles can do? Show me some stuff. What else? So, your muscles up here help you to move. Yep. Your head. Yep, it helps move your body. <laughs> can you tell everybody what your bones are? My bones are a... Um, the hard parts in our body. The hard parts in the body. That help give us shape. Help us give shape. <laughs> Clearly. I was hoping you'd help me do bones for everybody. You want to help me with bones? Uh-huh. Ready? Your brain is a new clam. Your mammal helps you chew gum. Your vertebrae help your head. Three, three, 33. 33 stacks into the end. Your scapula pokes your shoulders out. With, with the, clavicles? With clavicles and foot, no doubt. Sternum? And sternum keeps your ribs in place and takes in your origins with your rib cage. Your femur is in your humerus. Your humerus is in your upper arm. When we hear that funny, we're going to say done. Uh, your radius. Your radius comes stretches out, out to your thumb. With ulna side, side, side by side. side bar. No. How fun. How fun. A couple of and go rest of being good and stressed. Make a couple of stretch to your hands to the fringe finger slams. And your fingers, friends. Let's move down to where we sit. Your pelvis so covers all of it. Which means, means your pubic symphysis, your ischium, and your ilium, your femur, your patella, your patella, caps, caps your knee just right, and just, just like, like the bones on top, the two that go to your feet, then stop. Tibia and fibula. Tibia and fibula by side, to the tarsus and stride. Metatarsals get shaped to feet. We we find the end with more flanges. Flanges. You did so good. Give me five. Oh. Boom. All right. Now, before we do the last one, I thought maybe we would talk a minute about our other show, Dabkison Story Time. Do you like Dabkison Story Time? Uh huh. What do we do on Dabkison Story Time? Well, we sing. We sing. We read books. We read books. Um, we do the work day. Yeah. Do we tell stories? We do tell stories. Do we play games? We play games. And everything. Doesn't that sound like a lot of fun? You should join us. Okay. So, I was hoping you'd give everybody just a little taste of Dapkus and Storytime by doing bedtime for us. My word day I had... And now it's time I go to bed. I pick up the mess I made, then brush my teeth, then wash my face. I change my clothes, put them where they go. Then my parents hold me close. They snuggle me up and remind me I'm loved. Sometimes I just need a little nudge. I crawl on my bed, lay down my head, and sleep. And dream of all the things I've done and want to do with you. Ooh, Skyward said something. Oh, yeah? Well, what Skyward say? Whoa, whoa. I do, I do. I do, I do. Can you blow kisses? I... Can you say goodbye to everybody for a minute? Goodbye, everyone. Say thanks for watching my Robo Show. Thanks for watching my Robo Show. Subscribe. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye. Okay, you're going to come over this way. I'm going to move this. <laughs> Hi. Wasn't that lovely? We've got Jody, impressive beard, hi, Ro. And then Robo and I do what I do from Skyward. All right. We're going to do a little song together. Yep. <laughs>
kind of a family we, anthem at this it is point. a family anthem and also a connecting with adam anthem the, all you fine folks who continue to okay. show up for us and support us so do me a favor press that share button great way to support us Yes, 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 yes. Wasn't that beautiful? It was lovely. I love doing that with the kiddo and the better half right behind me there. I just want to say thank you to Jamie. I lost my voice for a bit and the show must go on. So Jamie has taken over of the full on hosting, all the technical side, juggling the child. Can't say enough about how wonderful and magical they are, even before that, so bravo. Thanks. It's true. All right. And having said that, Jamie's going to be leading vocals on this. Is that your toe? No, you're Okay. <clears throat> We'd find out. We'd. Uh, cool. So, hey, folks. Appreciate you sharing the love with us, connecting with Adam. We got Jamie, Adam, myself, and Robo in the house. Um, do know that we're going to be on a little smidge of a hiatus because we've got a big old move. We're moving. Um, we're excited about it. It's New Horizons. It's something really amazing and wonderful. We're really grateful to have uh, the opportunity. And also in it, we need to do the, the wise thing and put this show on the shelf for just a moment till we get in our new place and you get to see this new show, um, a rebirth of that as, as it were. So um, without further ado, uh, thank you. Oh, yeah, let me include people. There was a sudden burst of light and love, you three. I want you. I want you too. Mm. And Jody Lynn Bryce, we got your hair is pretty, Jamie, with the blue heart on. All right. <clears throat> this next one here is called Abundance. Maybe you've heard it.
So that is a love gram. Uh, if you don't know what we're talking about, we got a little uh, project here, a little side gig called Love Grams uh, that Jamie will come on and chat about. But um, somebody um, wanted to express their love to somebody else, and they uh, chose our services, which we're really grateful for. It's really nice being uh, like a conduit or a bridge um, of love to bridge two people from. Um, you know, a life who wanted to bond again. So uh, just forever grateful for that. So if you'd like, uh, if you have somebody special in your life you'd like us to write a love gram for, please connect with us. Really connect with us either way. <clears throat> Good job, bro, from Michelle. Yes, that was abundance, looks like. We're going to go over back to the piano. So I do want to share a bit of sad news around the piano. Uh, so Sky Ward, that one always stirs me inside out. Jamie, your vocals are awesome. Peggy Bot, I was just thinking of all the wonderful memories you were creating with Ro. Those times they'll think back on as they grow. The times she was so fortunate to spend with her parents. Thank you for creating those family times for them. Peggy, thank you so much for saying that. It's so true. I'm forever grateful to um, have a talent, um, and to continue, um, you know, um, advancing in that talent and working on that talent and have a partner who's naturally as talented, if not more, and then to have a child together, um, to share that. So I'm forever grateful for that. And I appreciate you recognizing that Peggy and sharing that with the group. So on with the sad news of the piano. So we're moving, which is good news. It's always uh, good to, you know, change and welcome change, um, I think, you know, especially if it's quarters. Hey! I thought that was pretty good. Um, and we're just going to spin all the way around. Oh, stop. Oh, look at this. Did you see that? Is that beautiful? It's one of my favorite backgrounds that we have. It's like I'm in the woods. So, uh, yeah, the sad news is that uh, um, we might not be able to bring this awesome piano, the piano that everyone loves and... I do too, and I'm forever grateful for it, and uh, funny story about it actually, Jamie got it at like a, a thrift type store um, before COVID, and um, we're in a little little tiny trailer, so the fact that we have a giant piano in here is amazing to get go, and it's in our bedroom in the closet, so showbiz, right? We have like a about a fourth of it for our clothes, and the rest is this beast of a piano. And I don't know if you know this, but it's actually one of those um, ones from, like, the Western ones, where they play on their own. There's the name, the Pianola. Pianola. Um, and the sad part is it's a beast, and it's just us moving, so um, we probably need to go on the, the side of caution and let it go. Um, so this will be the final evening with it. Um, so that's kind of the sad part, but, um, maybe I'll get something else. Um, you know, you never know what the future holds. I'm, um, being curious and I'm, um, excited, um, about what the future may hold and we might not have a piano. So I just wanted to let y'all know. And without further ado, I give you a piano song. But do know that we will continue with piano. I just don't know on what kind of level. A little bird told me that someone is buying a digital piano, so the world will not be without your wondrous playing, Adam. Hmm. I wonder what the bird said. A little bird, huh?
that soothes me so much. I'm glad it soothes y'all as well. Adam, I'm so proud of you for doing 45 consecutive, consecutive shows. Can't wait to see what the next year shows hold for us. The next year and this year as well. Um, so thank you so much, Proteus. I appreciate that. Couldn't do it without you, obviously. I do want to say something as far as <clears throat> maybe loss or what we uh, perceive as loss. Um, you know, the one door closes, another door opens type thing. Um, I know for myself, <clears throat> it's best on my nervous system to stay curious and not get wrapped up in what was or what could be. Um, so around the piano or the, you know, the hiatus of the shows coming up um, and keeping curious about what's in the future, what's, uh, what's around the corner, you know, um, and being excited about that. So just wanted to share that experience with you and knowing that we will bring some sort of piano type uh, thing back into the show. So it's not gone forever, just this moment and this specified one. But again, you never know, showbiz, as we like to say here. Or I do, at least. And actually, showbiz comes from a theater uh, background for myself. So um, it's all about uh, when things, um, you know, or life hands you curveballs, you know, you, you roll with it. And that's how we've done the 45 shows in a row through COVID and um, fires and evacuations and being sick and juggling the five-year-old and, um, you know, blizzards, uh, you name it, we've gone through it. So water appreciate, well, dear God, yes, our water got <laughs> shut off and frozen pipes. I could go on and on. Um, yeah. Several things, trailer life, yes, new to me, um, but we're rolling with it. And we're really grateful to um, continue to do the show and bring you the show. So I appreciate you sticking with us. Sky Ward in your beautiful new home. And Jody, we've got Love the Piano, as always, but looking forward to what the future of your music will bring. I love that. Uh, as I said that, and then I read that afterwards. So how interesting is that? I love that I connect with my friends and family so well. Thanks for sticking around and doing that with us. One more look-see. Remember, we're still going to be doing the Cementing with Love. We're still going to be doing yeah. Order Your Love Grams. And we're going to have some kind of something. We do got... We miss you, Dirk, in the background. Some letters. Um, I have a feeling we're going to have something really wonderful and really beautiful to showcase and to show and to share with y'all. Oh, I hope y'all were able to see that. Sometimes I go a bit quick. I've got 47%. So I might want to... Yep. We've got quite a bit of people in here. If you're just tuning in, uh, please uh, uh, jot a line to let us know that you're there. Leave a little comment, a little high five, thumbs up, heart, whatever. <coughs> lets us know that you are enjoying what you're uh, what you're uh, listening to and seeing. So. This next one is called Forever Home of My Heart. Again, it's a love gram. I know we talk about it a lot, but uh, I'm going to scooch back yep. just a sec. Good? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Um, so we did Abundance earlier. Well, Jamie did it, and I played the guitar. So, um, again, I just can't say enough about my partner. I know you're on screen, so I'm not trying to make you embarrassed. But um, as far as just their, uh, you know, their drive, their talent, uh, their willingness to roll with the punches. Like I said, I <clears throat> lost my voice, my voice, my voice, my voice for a little bit, and my speech apparently. Um, so we're trying to have a little bit less singing for me. So Jamie stepped in. Jamie has this gorgeous voice, so it's really nice to be able to showcase that. So like I said, instead of count, you know, worrying about, oh God, I lost my voice, there's this beautiful thing on the other side of it, and there they are, that's Jamie. Uh, so true. In showbiz. So yeah, without further ado, I give you Forever Home of My Heart.
really special I love hearing that <clears throat> and I love being able to showcase Jamie so uh, thank you for supporting me in that mm -hmm. and us in that was that not gorgeous and beautiful um, how love works from Michelle so true so true forever grateful in that uh, so I'm gonna get myself a little break which means we're gonna have more of Jamie which is very exciting for all of us included they're going to chat about uh, love grams, and then they're going to um, probably have some beautiful poetry. So um, hope you're able to absorb it uh, and enjoy it. And I'll come back. Blessings. You're sitting here? Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. Oh, so excited to be here for love grams. It's my favorite part of the show, probably because I like poetry. Um, <clears throat> so as we said, just to, to reiterate, we're not taking Lovegram orders right now, but we will be again in a few weeks and I'll let you know when that's up and running. I'll be bugging you again to order your Lovegrams at gmail.com. Um, until then, I thought maybe we'd do a little bit of a greatest hits. So we're doing some of my favorites and, uh, some really old stuff. I hope you enjoy. We'll start with spring because it's still spring. Obviously. Spring is here, now let's begin. The time has come to shed what we've been. The intensifying of the light fueling our most primal drives. To become, to renew, to develop a restored you. To burst out of stagnant stasis and find it soon replaced with adventurous open observation. Deeply introspective contemplation. The time is ripe to plant the seed of yourself. Nurtured deliberately, aided and helped. So in tomorrow you may grow to be greater and better than you've known. Um, the next piece is called Grandchildren. And this is what the beautiful um, PNG file looks like for it, which has one of those cement pieces. Sorry, I'll put it back up there. Um, this is actually a water fountain. So if you have something in mind, let me know. We would love to do a, a cement work for you. 
I'm going to be branching out in the year to come in the new place. I'm very excited. Grandchildren. A magic come alive again. A new generation spreads its wings to fill our hearts with songs to sing and smear wonder and joy on everything. Curiosity mixed with limited judgment. They are the little ones that question all the ways we think about a world we miss by blinking. Watching them gain understanding, whether sweet or quite demanding, is a magic all its own, and the greatest that I've known. Um, here is another one that I have the picture of, um, which has a significant home upon it. This one's called Still. Coming of age so long ago, transcending worlds, I watched you grow. Blonde and small, you had a spark that ignited into all our hearts. I think back fondly on time we'd spend in mentorship as family and as friends. In the confusion of our youth, you brought comfort and truth. You entertained with tunes you played that sometimes for a meal we'd trade. You shared your gifts with Tracy too and we'd set an extra plate for you. I went off to college and later you did too, leaving Chicago Heights with Texas in your view. As time went by, we both moved on. But there's a place in my heart where you'll always belong. It never fades and never fails, though we don't call or send much mail. This love is timeless and it's true. And I hope you know, I still love you. Well, that one got me that time. Uh, being a little emotional, apparently. Um, this We'll see if I can get through this one. This one is called um, My Partner. My partner, my love, my man, my confidant and best friend, my muse, my mentor, my mirror, helping me see myself and the world clearer. My inspiration, my hope, and my favorite source of jokes, co-parent and adventure buddy, who always helps me feel safe and cuddly. The foundation beneath me as I spread my wings and the harmony when I sing. You push me to push myself. You've held my hand as I've walked out of hell. My partner, my man, my love, you are everything I've dreamed of. Um, this one was one of the first ones that I wrote um, post-COVID right after my adult kiddo Sambo had to um, move out. And I was just missing them. And uh, Sam, if you don't know them, is kind of a quiet person. And so missing them is a little different than missing somebody who's super outgoing. And so this, this captured that for me. I always want to reach out. What's there to say? I want to sit in the same room with you and share a silent space where everything makes sense. So there's nothing to be said. And in the silence, we could find peace and hope instead. But here I sit without you and you go face the day and we keep moving forward until we're face to face. Which will be soon, Sambo. I love you. Um, the next one I'm pulling kind of out of the vault before Poetry with Proteus this week. Um, this was written long before I started doing love grams and long before I'm sort of taking that tone with my poetry. And I started um, right after grad school. I really wanted to sort of capture all of the theory and all of the social justice that I'd learned there um, and try to put it into poetry. And this was my first attempt at doing so. It's called Standpoint, which is based on standpoint theory, if you're familiar. No, I am not you. I am not your experiences, but rather my own, each unique person, each unique home. But I know some things to be simple and true, even if it's different from my point of view. I know that discrimination is pain because we bleed in the faces of losses and gains of people unmade when they should be loved. In the name of a tyrant who rules from above, in the name of tradition, a good old boys club, in the name of the normal, whatever it means to erase all the difference homogeneity. But I know that I live in a specific place, a specific body assigned to gender and race, a specific knowing in my time and my space. And I don't think I have to know your life to know that your rights should be equal to mine. 
Regardless of my perch in a privileged tier responding to a world censored through hate and fear, I know that I can't know what it is to be you or what it means exactly to do the things that you do. Your lived experiences and point of view. I know I don't know what you face every day, but I can still be mindful of the things that I say and I can always question who is hurt by my deeds and carefully guard our equality. I can cringe when I hear words launched at you with the intention to hurt. And battle back and educate rather than pacify and placate. To struggle beyond the lip service lines to build a world that's as much yours as mine. Celebrating difference without a need to be blind. Replacing punishing difference as crime. Thank you guys so much for sitting through that one. If you enjoyed that, um, I highly recommend that you start tuning in to Poetry with Proteus. Um, which will be on tomorrow at 1.45 on the page that is tagged in the comments. Um, like I said there, tomorrow's um, topic is going to deal with rejection. So I'm only doing two pieces, but they're um, big and heavy. They are the hefty pieces um, that sort of deal with multitudes of rejection and how different types of rejections sort of compile on each other and how that's experienced. So I really recommend that you can join me. It'll be super special. And then I will leave... By uh, saying the happy birthday poem, we want to say happy birthday to all of our birthday friends out there. Um, I didn't get around to tagging everyone this week, but if you know somebody having a birthday, go ahead and throw them tagged into the comments, and we still love you all. The birth of a person as special as you is something to celebrate the whole year through. You help light the world, and you give it your spark. And in doing so, have touched our hearts. I hope that your birthday brings magic and wonder and a year filled with love until you have another. Thank you guys so much for having me today. Um, and we will be back in a couple weeks. Mwah, I love you guys. Hello there. What's that? I couldn't, I couldn't hear you. All right. Make sure we're including all these fine folks here. We got beautiful after your song mm -hmm. from Jody. Really, really nice song, Peggy. Gorgeous. We got Michelle, delightful. Yes, grandkiddos are perfect. Sky Ward, mm -hmm. beautiful. Sam, how you've blossomed this year. Isn't it? Isn't it wonderful? Um, so we're about to wrap up. We're going to do a little happy birthday song and a little goodbye. Again, this is uh, the 45th session in a row of Connecting with Adam. I am your co-host, Adam with Ro and Jamie. Appreciate y'all tuning in, sticking around with us. And tune in in a couple weeks. Uh, we'll do Connecting with Adam. We'll do all the uh, Dapkinson story time and things. Tomorrow we're still doing Dapkinson story time and we're still doing the Proteus uh, with poetry. So um, love you guys so much. Bring out the kiddo again. Hey there, kiddo. Hi. Hi. So we're going to do Happy Birthday Tune for all you fine folks who uh, have already had a birthday in the month of April and have some birthdays coming up. I know my mother's birthday is the 29th. We'll kind of miss celebrating that, but when we come back on, we'll do a belated birthday sesh, too. Mom, know that we love you so much. So much. The matriarch of our family. We're forever grateful for you. Can't say enough about you, and we uh, celebrate you every day. And without further ado, we're going to do a happy birthday. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. I gotta read this right here too, buddy. So if you could also yep. see your beautiful face on there and also let daddy do that. So it's gonna be a, a little bit of sharing it's thing, okay? You. you got it? All right, yeah. I think we're good. Good job, buddy. Make sure we see your beautiful face up there. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy birthday to you. All right. Stay on here, kiddo. Okay. <laughs> All right.
We're going to do a little song we made up as well. Remember, this is an all-original show. Just uh, let that in there right there. <laughs> all right. Let's look up at the camera okay. again. And we're going to have a little play-out sign of a goodbye song. We love you. Oh, do the capo. Showbiz. It's time to say goodbye. We've had so much fun today. I don't want to say goodbye. Time must have flown away. And now it's time to say goodbye. Though I really wish we could stay. But it's only goodbye. We'll come back another day. It's time to say goodbye. We've had so much fun today. I don't want to say goodbye. Time must have flown away. Now it's time to say goodbye. Though I really wish we could stay. But it's only goodbye. We'll come back another day. Watch the show. If it's good, let us know.